Hello everyone! Today I'm showing you my weekly spread inspired by the amazing Bay Caruso and her 67 day challenge. So grab your drink of choice, sit back and relax. I'm almost halfway through the challenge myself and I've settled on a spread which combines my usual planning with some extra trackers for during the challenge. I'm only going to be using my black fine liner and a ruler to set this up. To start with, I'm going to draw a column on the left side of my page. I'll divide this into 6 boxes for the days of the week. For my last day, I'll draw a single box at the bottom right corner. Before I close my boxes, I'll write the days of the week on top of each section, starting and ending each day with a little horizontal stripe. I managed to actually write down Saturday instead of Friday, so you might see some of my frustration later on. But I try to remind myself that my bullet journal is meant to be used, so it doesn't have to be flawless. And to be honest, I was a bit tired when making this and I ended up with quite a few imperfections. But that doesn't make this spread any less usable. So what do you guys do when you mess up in your bullet journal? Do you start over? Try to correct it? Or just let it be? Anyway, I'm closing each box by continuing on the horizontal line at the end of each day. And that's the first part of the spread done. Next, I'm drawing out my mini calendar. Starting with the initials of the days of the week and filling in the numbers after that. Then I'll underline the days of the week and put a box around the current week. Finally, I add a title for notes and some random stuff. And that's my first page done. On to our second page. I'm starting with a combination of a water and a sleep chart. I'm going to be using bars to fill in my water intake and points to fill in my sleeping hours. I'm adding the days of the week to the vertical axis and the numbers 1 to 9 to the horizontal axis. Next I'm going to add a food column. Here I can plan all my meals for the next week. Each day will have 4 lines so I can split it up in breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks when I'm planning. I'm just adding dots to each row for now and I will fill in my actual meal planning later. Now we are on to my mental health and mood tracker. Oh my god, I apparently cannot draw a straight line, so I'm back with my ruler. This time I will be putting the dates of the week on the horizontal axis. For my mental health I'll be tracking which days I practice skincare, stretching, my bullet journal and my other hobbies. And for my mood tracker, I used a very sophisticated system of smileys. Now, whilst I was adding my exercise tracker, my tripod decided to lose his battle with gravity without me noticing. So we get this amazing shot. Let me just show how the exercise tracker turned out. I ended with a little space for the total amount of exercise I got that week. And that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe, it really means a lot. I'd love to know if any of you are also doing the 67 days challenge of B and how it's going for you. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!